Hello Year 8 and welcome to your second 3D design lesson on your Aboriginal project. In today's lesson we're going to build upon the knowledge uh, from the previous lesson and use the Aboriginal symbols to create our own Aboriginal stories. Now for this lesson you will need your sketchbook or a piece of paper, a ruler just to mark off your sketchbook, a pencil, a rubber and you could either Google um, Aboriginal symbols or I will, I will attach this image to the homework upload. Now what I've done is Google Aboriginal story paintings and had a look at different paintings that the Aboriginals have created and I have chosen quite a, just a simple one just as a bit of inspiration for myself. So looking at the symbols that I've got in front of me I can see here that on these three circles, the lines connecting them, I've got a travelling sign. So circles are a resting place or a campsite. So, I don't know, people have started from one campsite, moved and travelled to the next, had a rest, moved to the next and had a rest there. On the side of that, there are some um, is it men, a woman, could be a man or a woman, sitting at a table. So where's that symbol here? So two people, well, people sitting, so a circle, and the people sitting either side, so people sitting the other side there. So it might be a story of someone travelling or a, a family travelling, going somewhere. So we're going to create our own story. So, move that to one side. What I've done in my sketchbook is just mark off three sections because we're going to make three different stories. All I've done in my ruler is measured 10 centimetres from the side, down to there, made a mark, measured from 10 centimeters down from the top on this side, and I've joined them together, and then repeated it for the second and third steps. So, for my first design, I'm just gonna use a bit of our own inspiration. What shall I start with? I quite like that traveling one. Actually, I like these water hole here. Water holes connected by running water, so, the majority of my story here will be based around these water holes. So I'm going to start with that symbol on this left hand side. How many circles? Start to the middle, one, two, three rings. Start in the middle, one, two, three rings. Doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, these were drawn in sand and then removed afterwards. And I have another water hole over here. Do my dot in the middle, one, two, Three rings and then the water connecting them. So that's the main focus of my story. And at the water hole on the left hand side, I want to have some animals around the watering hole getting a drink. So I'm going to have an emu. That's obviously a footmark. Obviously, an emu's got two feet. So I'm going to do an emu sitting there having a drink. And emu sitting over here having a drink. I'll turn my book around. And I'll have another emu, why not? Three emus there having a drink. What can we put on the other side? Um I've looked down my symbols. A possum. We'll have a possum on the other side. Maybe two possums. So let's say symbol like that. I think that's one for each foot as well. And another possum over here. There you go. So that's my one side of the story over there. On the other side I want to have some people. So remember you draw the people just by those little U shapes. There's a symbol there. You have a person, a woman, a man. Different symbol for women and men there as well. Um, so I'm going to draw a person sat here, maybe a woman. Draw that symbol there, and then maybe a man sat next to her. There we go, and maybe a little person. Maybe they got a family. There's one kid. There's another kid. Have a drink. 
But how could we fill in these gaps around here? What else could I put? Um, oh, a couple of snakes. Let me zoom into that one. So there's a couple of snakes minding their own business. Going that way. Let's fill that corner. What can I have up here? Could have a cloud. It could be a cloudy day. So I might use this cloud symbol up at the top. So it's cloudy over here anyway. It's like a big Wi-Fi symbol. Pretty sure they didn't have Wi-Fi back in the day. And what have the animals got? Maybe they can have a bit of rain coming down for them. Poor animals. Anything else? Maybe some little ants, some little dots to fill in some gaps. Maybe the ants are crawling towards the animals as well. And yeah, anything else from those gaps? I think I might have a little campsite up here actually. A camp campsite is just a, very similar to the waterhole. So we have a campsite up there. next to the running water and maybe have a few people in and around the campsite as well. They don't have to be facing inwards, they can just all be, I don't know, speaking to each other. Either side. So literally, yeah right, what I want you guys to do is create your own stories about what these people might be doing. Are they going on a hunt? Are they getting some water? Are they just minding their own business? It's up to you. But I want to see that you've used these symbols, took inspiration from some Aboriginal paintings, and create your own storyboards. So in, in this lesson, I want you to upload one, two, three different stories for your teacher to mark and give you a positive foot referral for completing the work. Thank you very much, you're right. Look forward to seeing your stories.